Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the Kolmogorov-Simonov test for exponential distribution using a goodness of fit test. The procedure is as follows. The step 1, calculate the interarrival points. How we are going to calculate the interarrival points? I, Ri is nothing but it's in a random number. T1 by T, T1 plus T2 by T, T1 plus T2 plus three, T3 divided by T and the last one is t1, t2, t3 till tn divided by t, where t is a total number of sample data. That is, whatever the sample data they are given, that total value we have to calculate here. And ti is the sample data, is nothing but where i equal to 1, 2, 3 till n. Whatever the sample data is they are given, the first sample data, second sample data, third sample data, till the n sample data, so we have to add that one that is c1 plus t2 plus t3 till tn we are going to add all these values in the step 2 we are going to compute d plus and d minus we have a formula to calculating d plus and d minus d plus equal to maximum of i divided by n minus ri where 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n d minus is equal to maximum of 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n ri minus i minus 1 divided by n. These are the two formulas to calculating a d plus value and d minus value. And in the step 3, we are going to compute a value of d that is maximum of d plus and d minus. Whatever the, we calculated in the step 2 that is d plus and d minus in these two values which is a maximum value that we are going to call it as the value d. In the step 4, we are going to find the critical value d alpha comma n from the kolmogorov simonov table. We have a kolmogorov simonov table here. So using this, this is the value of alpha, whatever it's there in the x-axis that is the alpha value and what's there in the y-axis that is the n value. So we are using these two values, we are going to calculate the critical value. That is, in a step 4, we are going to calculate that critical value. And in the step 5, if we are going to check the conditions here, whether d is greater than the critical value, if d is greater than the critical value, then reject the hypothesis. That whatever the value we calculated in a step 3, that is the value d, critical value what we calculated using a table that is called as a critical value. If the calculated value is greater than the critical value, then we are going to reject the hypothesis. Or else if d is lesser than or equal to d alpha comma n, that is d is lesser than or equal to critical value, then we are going to accept the hypothesis. This is about the procedure. Now let us see the problem based on this kolmogorov simonov Now let us see the procedure problem based on this. Apply the goodness of fit test to check whether the random numbers are uniformly distributed over an interval 0 to t for an interval 100 take alpha equal to 0 0.05. Simulation table for critical values 0 0.44, 0 0.53, 0 0.04, 2.04, 2.70, 0.30, 0 0.54, 0 0.52, 2.02, 2 and 1.89. These are the values they are given. The value of i is 1. 1 divided by n value is 10. So 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. So next is 2. 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2. 3 divided by 10, 0 0.3, 4 divided by 10, 0 0.4, 5 divided by 10, 0 0.5, 6 divided by 10, 0 0.6, 7 divided by 10, 0 0.7, 8 divided by 10, 0 0.8, 9 divided by 10, it is 0 0.9, and the next value is 10 divided by 10 is 1.0. So, 1.0. Again, i minus 1 divided by n. i minus 1 is 1 minus 1, 0, 0 divided by n is 10, and that is 0 itself. Next is 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 10, so you are going to get 0 0.1. Again, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 divided by 10 is, you are going to get a value that is 0 0.2. Next value 0 0.3, next value it is 0 0.4, next value it is 0 0.6, 
0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. These are the values we are going to get i minus 1 divided by n. d plus, d plus we have to calculate here. That is i minus i divided by n minus ri. That is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.0044. So, the value you are going to get, it is 0 0.0956. Again, the next value is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.0097. So, you are going to get a value 0 0.1903. 1903. The next value is 0 0.2699. So, the next value is 0 0.4 minus 0 0.0575. So, the value you are going to get, that is 0 0.34. And next value 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0775. So that value you are going to get 0 0.4225. And the next value is 0 0.0.5195. Again, the next value is 0 0.5941. And the next value 0 0.6889. And the next value 0 0.7687. So, and next value here 1 minus 0 0.50, sorry, 1 minus 0 0.1502. So, you are going to get a value 0 0.8498. These are the values for D plus we got. So, in this, the maximum value we have to consider. So, which is the maximum value here? The D plus value, this is the maximum value. So, D plus is nothing but it is 0 0.8498. Now, let us calculate the D minus. D minus is Ri. Ri is 0 0.0044 minus I minus 1 divided by N. That is 0. So, this value minus 0 is nothing but it is 0 0.0044. 0 .0044. So, the next value is 0 0.0097 minus 0 0.1. So, minus 0 0.1, you are going to get a negative value. So, if at all, if I am getting a negative value, that is lesser than this value itself. The, so, I am not going to write it again. So, if you consider all these value, if I do first value of a random number is this, that is 0 0.0097 minus 0 0.1, negative value you are going to get. Again, 0 0.0301 minus 0 0.2, negative value. Again, 0 0.0 minus 0 0.3, if I do, you will get a negative value. If I do calculate for all these values, then you are going to get a negative value. So, this which is the greater value? We have only the greater value is this, the maximum value. So, I am going to consider the D minus value is, maximum value is 0 0.0044. No need to calculate here. By using a general knowledge or by using a common sense itself, we can tell that all the remaining values you are going to get, it's a negative value. So, the maximum value, it will become this itself. So, here the maximum value is here, maximum value in the D minus is 0 0.0, 0 0.8498 and the D minus is 0 0.0044. So, cal here, write it over here, the D plus value is 0 0.8498 and the D minus value is 0 0.0044. And Using a Kolmogorov simono table, we have to calculate the value that is d alpha comma n. Alpha value they are given in the question that is 0 0.05 comma 10 value. We have a 10 interval, so 10. Let us see the Kolmogorov simono table. The alpha is equal to 0 0.05 and the value 10 is here. So you are going to get a value 0 0.40925. So write it here that is 0 0.41040. 9. So, next, use, this is using a Kolmogorov simono table. So, in the step Y, we have to check whether the hypothesis is accepted, accepted or rejected. So, what are the value we calculated? That is the D plus value. That is the value of D. Value of D is nothing but it is 0 0.8498. So, that value is greater than 0. 
so hence the random numbers are rejected according to the procedure if the value of a d is greater than the critical value then we have to reject the hypothesis thank you everyone if you understood the video comment in the comment section if you want any more problems videos then comment in the comment section thanks for watching subscribe the channel for more videos related to system modeling and simulation Subs